I'm going to show you step by step how to separate complicated t-shirt art for <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to separate <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to separate complicated t-shirt art for screen printing coming up Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Let's go ahead and dive right into this tutorial. Okay, Apollo doesn't want me giving away any trade secrets, so I have to make this quick. Ow! What? I know, but they want to know. <laughs> okay, here is the art that we are going to separate. What I am going to use is Separation Studio. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can get that. And we're going to use Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator as well. If you're in the market for Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, use our link down in the description. What it will do is help support our channel. And it's no different than if you were just to go over to adobe.com yourself and subscribe to Adobe CC subscription. However, we do get a commission and it will help support our channel so that way we can continue to bring tutorials such as these to you guys. Okay, so we're going to take this artwork and we're just going to open it into Adobe Photoshop real quick. And so this is what our, our client has provided us. I'm going to hit Command, Option, and I, and what that will bring us to is image size so if you just want the image and then image size that's how you would get to that from your drop down menu there as you can see this is pretty high resolution art it's 18.6 29.91 at 300 dpi so that's great what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hit c on the keyboard and then i'm just going to crop this art down so that way we can get it closer to the actual size, the actual print size, because we don't really need all that extra information in our artwork. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pull this in and I don't want it right on top of it. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of breathing space and I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard. And what that will do is crop it down. Now I'm gonna hit command option I again, and that will give us our, our new dimensions here. With screen printing, I mean, you're really not gonna hold 300 DPI. So I'm just gonna bring that down to 200. And then the biggest image that we can print is 12 and a half by 18. But for the sake of this demonstration, let's just go ahead and do it 12 by 15.75 that's a pretty decent print size so i'm going to go ahead and hit ok there i'm going to double click on my little zoom glass here that will give us a 100 percent view you can see that it's a nice crisp sharp image at this point one of the things i am going to do is hit command l on the keyboard and that brings up our levels you can go to image adjustments and then levels to, to bring that up I'll show you how to do it here. There it is right there. So Command L or Control L for you PC users out there. And what I'm going to do is take this little black selector here and click the black just to make sure it is a true 100% black. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a spot here where it's supposed to be 100% white. And I'm going to take my white selector and click on that and hit OK. So basically what that does is it makes sure that your, your blacks are completely black and then your whites are completely white. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this out as a TIFF. I hit Command Shift S to save that. I'm going to save it as a TIFF. We can embed the color profile. That's absolutely fine. We're going to save that into our folder. We do not want layers and we're going to hit save sometimes if if you do have an image that has a transparent background i would suggest keeping save transparency click but in this case it's not necessary because it's on a black background and this is going to go on a black t-shirt so we'll just go ahead and hit ok so now we're going to go ahead and launch separation studio 4. what i am using here is a trial version you can actually get a trial version see how you like it and if you do decide that you want to purchase Separation Studio, let us know because we are an official vendor of Separation Studio. Also, again, that will help support our channel. We'll get a little bit of a commission for promoting these guys. And we do use it in our shop practically daily. So we have Separation Studio 4 open. So I'm going to hit open. I'm going to find the TIFF file that I just saved out. 
So we have our image open here. As you can see, it is a little bit duller looking than what was actually the, the image that we're actually working with, which you can see here in the background. And we're going to fix that. So one of the first things I am going to do is, let me open this up so we can see some of our options here, is I'm going to hit auto adjust and that will brighten up some of the colors a little bit just to kind of really make some of those colors pop. And with our press, we're limited to six colors. So we're gonna to have to find a way to reduce this down to six colors. What we're going to do is essentially kind of combine some of these colors together. Some of the main colors that we will need is our, our white base, our purple, our gold, the green, obviously, and grays there are quite a bit of grays going on here inside of this vehicle this white top what i am going to end up doing is merging that white top with the under base because we will need a a blue a gold a purple a green and that gray that's five of our colors already right there so what we're going to have to do is print flash print flash our under base that way our bright whites are a nice bright white and i'm going to show you guys how to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the white top and i'm just going to drag that over to my under base i'm going to hit multiply some of my areas here that should be a 100 percent white such as this area right here underneath the s and shine we can see down here that it is reading out at 100%, so that is great. I'm gonna go back to the positive view. Now you can see that it has changed a little bit. If I hit undo, you'll see that it's a lot brighter. A lot of times with Separation Studio, even if you do have enough space on your press and you're going to use a highlight white, I would suggest taking a look at your highlight white and seeing where it's putting that white in there, because sometimes it's not necessary. You might need to right click hit adjust separation and kind of pull some of these things back. Sometimes you might get a little bit of a highlight white in some of your areas that like, say for instance, this green around the, the truck, sometimes it might toss white in there. Keep an eye out for that. So I'm gonna hit Command Shift Z to redo that. And we're gonna go over and we're going to take a look at our original image and that, in itself already made it look that much better so the next thing I'm going to do is because we do not have enough space for blue and turquoise I'm going to go ahead and take that turquoise and just drag that over and hit multiply and combine those together now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our green we kind of want to make sure that this green right here on the outside of the vehicle is 100% so we will have to boost that. As you can see, it's reading 72%. We're going to have to boost that a little bit, but I only want to boost this outline. So I'm just going to take my little marquee lasso, lasso tool, whatever you want to call it. And we're just going to select that part of the actual outline. So if we roll over this part of this outline, it says 72%. We want to make that 100. So we're going to right click on that and we're going to adjust that separation. So we're trying to boost it to 100. So what we need to do is boost that by 28, giving us 100. So we're just going to move this on up. Sometimes 27, 26 will be just fine, but let's just go ahead and do 28. And now if we kind of just roll our mouse over that. We got it pretty close. I'm going to hit undo and we're going to bump it up just a little more than that. So let's just go ahead and let's just make that 30 and see where that gets us. Okay. So now we're at hundred percent. That's awesome. That's exactly what we want. We're going to go down here to this part of the bottom of the jokers and we do want that 100 percent i'm gonna hit command d to deselect my selection there and i'm going to just boost the overall color of this by five percent so now we have 100 percent down here and at the bottom of the jokers portion of the text and just as a, a quick little note the the difference between the high saturation and low saturation the high saturation is your your dot gain in the higher percentages i would say 
50% to 100, and then your low saturation is 50% below. So you could actually pull out some of the some of these dots here to let's say you boosted the whole thing, but then you start gaining some dots here. You could use your low saturation to kind of pull some of those dots back out. But I'm pretty happy with how this is looking thus far. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at our red. Uh, we're working with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's not a lot of information on this red here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and just drag this right over to the purple and hit multiply. And that will just end up being the, the color rather than it being the, we got to kind of sacrifice some things. And, and instead of losing the details there, um, we're just going to drag that over to the purple. Okay, so the next thing we're going to take a look at is our purple here. It does look like that if we hit Command Plus on the, the keyboard and we just kind of scroll over some of these parts that should be a really bright purple, this right here should be 100%. We're going to use a different purple color than what Separation Studio is, is asking us in order to achieve the effect that you guys saw in the, the final product of this t-shirt which we will have a video coming up but I want to show you guys how I went about separating this first so it looks like we need to adjust it by about 45 percent or so so I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to adjust that separation and I'm going to hit 45 and let's see what we get right here this purple so now we're at 100 we didn't add too much more in these, these highlight areas if we go back to our positive proof you can see things are, are starting to look pretty awesome. However, if we go back to this blue, looking at our proof positive, there's some there's some blue here, and we do not want that blue in our, our purple. So let's go back over to our blue, and we don't want that blue in our, our green right there either. And it, it looks like the blue is pretty heavy here in the, the vehicle, which it looks like that that's how it is and we're going to get there i know it's not the same color blue but so in this case i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go here and i'm just going to go down to where the text is at select that and then i'm going to right click on it adjust se separations and what i'm going to do is just pull back the low saturation until that just completely disappears and then i'm going to hit accept Okay, now that we have the all the blue just pulled out of the green graphic here, the next thing we are going to do is we're just going to compare it to our original graphic here. We're going to change these colors. That way we get a better just kind of screen representation. I'm going to double click on this purple here. And let's go over to Photoshop real quick and just kind of sample what color purple this actually should be and we'll adjust it to that so let's go over here to our color picker it looks like we got 125 28 169 so let's go over here and i'm going to minimize this just a little bit so that way i can see what photoshop is telling me over here so let me pull this over let's see if uh there we go now let's go ahead and we'll we'll just do create new and we'll do 125 28 and 169 and we're just going to call this i have a tiger frog purple in stock in the shop so we're going to make that our um, purple here so i'm going to hit accept there you can save some of these colors if you find that you're using similar colors out in your shop you can save them into separation studio so let's go over to this green here let's double click on it i probably shouldn't have closed this out to begin with um, let's see what we got here so here's our neon green that's something we use often Let's see what we got here. Peacock blue. That is the color that I will probably end up using on press. But I think this cyan. Peacock blue and cyan are, are pretty much the same thing. Union ink has a uh, peacock blue. But let's use process cyan and see what that gets us. 
and we'll go back over to our preview here and now that's starting to look a lot closer to what our graphic looks like you see that look at that so now we have a very similar purple we have a, a very similar cyan here the the screen representation is going to be a little bit different because of you know we're breaking it down to six colors here and again with our, our white base we're going to print flash print that and we're going to print these in this order the cyan the gold the the tiger frog purples the neon green and then the the gray so now i'm i'm pretty happy with that the way it's looking i'm just going to to go ahead and save this into my joker shine demo folder and this is going to save it out as a psd so now we're going to go over to photoshop and i'm going to take this tiff i'm just going to drag this over we're going to use this as kind of a side-by-side -side comparison and i'm going to go back over to my psd that we do have here i'm going to open that up and i'm going to drag this guy aside now seeing how it is immediately you can see that essentially we don't have our black t-shirt anymore so we're going to go over to channels we're going to create a new channel and it naturally wants to just make it black but we're going to make it a spot color black we're going to call it spot color 100 percent solidity we're going to hit ok and if you wanted to you can call this black t-shirt or whatever you want to call it and then we're going to drag this above the the under base and we're going to turn all these channels on now keep in mind that the representation that we have here in photoshop isn't always going to be what's going to happen on press so whatever we're seeing over here in separation studio that's a more uh, accurate representation we're going to just turn all of our channels on and we're going to go ahead and just fine tune this real quick and what i mean by that is we're going to make this look nicer on press and one of the things we're going to do in order to make that happen is you can see here that the joker shine the the word shine has some gray in it and i don't want gray in it because that's just going to make it look a little dingy so let's go over here to pass i'm going to hit p on the pen tool here and i'm just going to come in here and i'm going to start drawing off a path to eliminate some of what's going on here we don't need all this going on so we're just going to draw around this real quick eliminate it out of the word shine all together i'm not sure what this little piece is we'll just cut that out as well um it does look like that there's something else going on here but um however we'll just draw this path just really quick just so we can kind of use this path to create a really refined um essentially a selection the pen tool you can, there's so many uses for the pen tool in photoshop and this is one of them for making a custom selection here so let's go ahead and we're just going to finish this off and we're going to close this out and now i can hold the command button down click on that and now we have our selection i'm going to go over to my channels here i'm just going to turn the black t-shirt off and let's just delete that all together so i hit option delete so that way it uses our foreground if i hit command delete that's going to be the background so option delete will be our foreground color and then whatever we have going on here there's some of these little outlines that i just don't want to be gray um, some of this is okay that's not too bad for really uh, screen printing it's just going to feather out that white however i'm going to try and remove some of this here and i'm just using command and the space bar to give me my zoom tool option zoom out so i can quickly go in between these my pen tool is still up we're going to come over here and just kind of get a little closer to some of this stuff and eliminate um, what 
I feel like it is necessary. And I feel like some of the stuff down here just doesn't even need to be in there. So I'm just going to get as close as I can. And it, it really won't turn out too bad if some of that stuff is in there. But uh, for the most part, we got it out of the top gradient, which should be white in the Joker shine portion of the text. So, and I'm not saving any of these paths at the moment. I'm just kind of using them as a way to make a really kind of precise selection here. And we'll come up here and we'll just go around this. Let me back up. I'm going to hit Command Z to undo. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff that, you know, it's just going to make the edges look a little blurrier by it being a gray in there. And then we're going to come up over here and we'll, with the, the, the shine on Joker Shine. What so if you take a look at this real quick, that's fine with me if these little edges blur out a little bit because it is just kind of a reflection. So we're gonna come over here and then we'll just close this path off. Back again to our paths, we're gonna hold command down over this little um thumbnail, and then that will give us our selection. If for some reason you're having you, you do do that and it's inverse, go up here and make sure that it's you can use combined shapes um, you just want to change some of these options here because if, if you do subtract it might be inverse um, so that's something to keep an eye out on if you're for whatever reason not getting the results that you want with this selection so i'm going to hit option and delete that's going to fill it with white i'm going to hit command d and that's going to deselect it so now we got rid of that gray we're going to go back over to our channels turn everything on and now you can see that the joker shine portion does look cleaner we got rid of that and then the next thing that we will end up doing is i'm just going to go through each of these channels and see if there's anything that i do want to remove so here is our under base that looks fine here is our process cyan. That looks fine. It will have a little bit of that in the wheels, which will give it a little bit of a cooler effect. Uh, the one thing I do not want is I do not want yellow in the wheels here and in the Joker's shine text. So I'm just going to make a quick little selection here with my pen tool. I could use the lasso tool, but I feel like I get more of a precision selection with this pen tool here. So I'm going to, I got my Joker Shine all taken care of. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add to that and I'm going to remove the yellow out of these wheels because I just want green in those wheels. I don't want it to have somewhat of a lime green. I want, I want it to really pop when it comes to the the color of those wheels there is a little bit of yellow here in the wheels so i am going to leave that and i'll show you where that is at and you can see it just a little bit here and that pretty much is just kind of um, reminiscent of the yellow that is shining right here in the truck itself so let's go back and we'll f just finish this path here I'm going to hit option to get rid of that corner otherwise if I connected it it's you know it's going to hoop over which in this case isn't too big of a deal but I'm going to hit option anyways we'll get rid of that and same thing with the, the green that goes around the truck uh, let's go ahead and make a selection for that really quick and I'm just banging away at this and just kind of making the selection as quick as possible you want to be as efficient as possible time is money and you don't want to end up charging your client too much by spending too much time so work on becoming proficient as you become more proficient with these things you can um, 
obviously you'll, you'll start making more money, but you know, for if, if you're just starting out and you're not that great at getting around Photoshop, then you probably might not want to, to charge as much. Say for instance, if your shop is charging 50 or $60 an hour and it's taking you quite a bit of time because you're not that proficient, then you might want to hire somebody that is a little more proficient to help you out to do these separations. And if you guys want to give us a holler, we have our contact information in the description of this video. If you need some help with your separations, we'll be happy to take care of these. Uh, we do charge $50 an hour, so uh, we'd be happy to help you out. And we've helped many people out. So moving on, I'm continuing on removing the yellow from the what should be this green outline here and I'm just holding the space bar down pushing this thing around I hold the space bar down this little hand comes up so we're just pushing this around really quick and we're gonna finish making our selection here I'm just clicking and dragging to move these handles been doing this for quite some time and I'm very happy to help you guys out and hopefully this helps you get closer to accomplishing your goal of being more proficient and doing your separation separation studio I would say that the thing about it is it helps you do these separations a little faster if you go back I'll leave a little I card it's either up to left or right it's going to be on the right of your screen, but I don't know where to point. It's going to be on either of these sides. And we do have a video on how to manually separate this um, if you don't feel like Separation Studio is worth the money. Okay, so we're, we've gone over to our paths. I'm going to hold Command down, select that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold Option and hit Delete. So now we got rid of the yellow and that the green, which we we don't want it there. So let's see what else we got here. Let's go over to our tiger frog purple. Um, I think one of the things I'm going to do is remove it out of the shadow. I do not feel like the purple needs to be in that shadow. So I'm going to make my selection with my path. Same thing. Just make this path really quickly. Hold command down and then I'm going to hit option delete. Sorry about that. Let me go back over to my channels. Select my channel, option delete. Command D to deselect that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Our neon green, that looks pretty good. Um, one of the things to keep in mind is with this text here, it is a little bit more of a lime green. So we're going to have a combination of green and our gold that makes this up. However, um, now that I'm thinking about it is I do want this to be a fairly bright kind of um, lime yellow, not lime yellow, but uh, yeah, no lime green, lime green. There we go. So I'm going to hit command L. I'm going to take my black selector, come down here. I'm going to select that. We'll make it bright. So that way, did I say so that way? So that way, we'll be able to, let me get that out the way. I got a friend text me. I'm getting pretty late here. As with any business, you're constantly working, and it's uh, no different from this evening. Uh, however, here we go. So we got this yellow here. We got it. It's going to be 100%, and you'll see the difference once we do go in there to our overview. Let's, okay, so that looks pretty good. So we're just going through each one of these layers, trying to remove anything that really shouldn't be there. Uh, the neon green, that's really going to be a transition from some of those yellows, uh, some of these areas here, and uh, from the yellow to the blue. So that is absolutely fine. And then our grays are looking pretty good. I would say the only thing is this little part here. I'm going to just get rid of that. 
and I would say everything else is great because we do want this gray here with our shines because that's going to make the white the, the gray essentially kind of helps with that transition from white to to the black which is our t-shirt to make it look more authentic okay and so that is looking pretty good again the the representation that is here you can mess around with it a little more however i have found that separation studio if it looks pretty good here in separation studio with i'm happy with that aside from some of the things that might be a little harder to go in here and remove just like we removed the gray um, i'm very happy with the way this is looking so I'm pretty much ready to go to press with this. There is one more thing that I do want to do before we close this out. And I am going to add a little bit of a spread on the purple here and also on this green outline. And what that will do is essentially make it a little easier. Presses really do have a little bit of wiggle room. They have a couple two or three thousandths of wiggle room from station to station. So in, in order to compensate for that so we don't have any white showing outside of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and hey, look, we got something here. I have no idea what that is. It's probably, let me turn this t-shirt off and then we're just gonna go through each one of these. It might be on the under base is where it's at. Uh, doesn't look like it. However, there's something here and it looks like it might be on the blue layer. So let's just, I'm going to select this. I'm going to go through each of these layers and we're just going to make it black. Excuse me, white, because I'm holding command down. I'm going to go through each one of these, see if we can't just get rid of it altogether. There we go. Okay, again, what I was doing is I'm going to go over here and take my magic wand tool. And I'm going to come over here to my green. And I'm going to select this outline here. And we're going to come under here. We're going to select that. Now at this point, in order to do a spread, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to select, modify, expand we're going to expand it by one you'll see that it did expand it a little bit and so with that i'm going to hit option delete and even though the the under base isn't underneath that what it will do is help keep any of that white showing up just in case you might have a, a little bit of a, a registration shift during the run because it does tend to happen the shirt might move a little bit there's all kind of variables using your flash the shirt might shrink up just a touch and that will help just kind of really um, compensate for that so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our tiger frog purple and we're going to select here and we're going to prevent that from happening here as well We'll select this purple, grab as much of it as we can. Let's see what happens when we make this 50. See if that doesn't give us a, a little bit more information. There we go. And we're just going through and selecting all these areas that should be a solid purple. This little line here may be, let's see what we get. There we go. That's not too bad. Uh, this is selecting a little bit too much of the black, so I'm gonna hold Option down and just remove that. And um, one of my good old friends that I haven't seen in a while, I texted her a moment ago and was like, hey, we hadn't seen each other in a while. It'd be great to, to come hang out. We hadn't seen your, your baby. Everybody's just been busy. She's a nurse and we're running a small business. So 
I do apologize if <laughs> she keeps texting during this uh, tutorial. Good old Macintoshes, you know what I mean? Like just, here's all my text showing up, which I don't mind because it's not that big of a deal. People love to hang out with me, and I love to hang out with people. You know, if you guys are, are ever in town and you want to hang out, um, feel free to, to hit me up. Okay, so this grabbed a little too much of this. I'm going to remove some of this here because I don't want it to spread out too much and it be too funky. We're going to select all this here. And that's pretty good. Um, one of the things I am going to do is because it's starting to, to grab up some of this gray. Um, I don't want that. And we'll come back over to this portion here. And we're just using our marquee tool, holding option down, deselecting some of this stuff. The, the gray here will kind of help trap some of that. So I'm not too worried about that. We're just trying to get the air areas we're just trying to get the areas golly man i just can't talk tonight i can tell you why it's been a long day and then the next thing is right here we don't want to block out the white here so i'm going to give myself about um a pixel's worth of room here so that way we don't get rid of that shine so that way when we do expand this uh, didn't completely disappear so it looks like we got one more little portion here that we need to select and looks like we got everything covered so the next thing we're going to do is select modify expand we're just going to expand it by one uh, some of these areas here where it's coming into the white I don't want it to be white there with a cool little trick with this lasso tool you can draw and then hold option down, let go of your mouse, and it just releases. Uh, hold option, release your, your mouse, and then it turns into the uh, polygon lasso tool. So, um, looks like I should have just made that a positive selection here. Excuse me, maybe it's a negative. So I'm going to hold negative down. Let go. I'm still holding on to my mouse. I'm going to hit option again. Let go of my mouse. Click. And then there we go. Should get rid of that selection there. So I just want to keep an eye out for things like that. Uh, it's, it's funny how just kind of coaching some of this stuff, when you start really thinking about it, you uh, kind of naturally just kind of forget how to do some of this stuff. It's not that you forget. It's become such sec uh, second nature to me that you know thinking about the commands I'm actually doing and pointing it out to you guys um, it's a whole different ball game really all right so there that goes I'm gonna add this back got rid of a little too much okay so that looks pretty good pretty happy with that okay so I'm gonna make sure I'm on my tiger frog purple here I'm going to hit option and delete that will fill it with black so essentially it did kind of add a little bit of a spread to it and at print size you're not going to really notice the one pixel difference here so I'm gonna hit command the uh, command D and Let's see if there's anything else I need to do here. I think this is looking pretty darn good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this black t-shirt layer. And it'll be as if we didn't modify this whatsoever. However, we did. We modified it. And we modified it so that way it will print better on press. And I'm going to hit Command S and save that. So the next thing that I would do in order to get this ready is I'm going to hit command O. You guys like how there's my little thumbnails from the ISS show there. I'm going to go over to my template. And if you guys are in the market for t-shirt registration template, be sure to check out our link below. 
in the description. Any of the things that you do end up purchasing through our links does help us continue to create some of these tutorials. So I'm going to open up my t-shirt registration template here and we'll just give it a second. And the next thing that I need to do in order to get this ready is I'm just going to place it on my or my art board, my art, my art board. I'm going to place it on my art board here. Take my PSD. I'm going to hit place. What it's going to do is it's going to bring that in. All of our channels that are in there is going to bring all of those spot colors in as well and it is to size so i'm just going to center this up on my artboard make sure my line to artboard's all set and because it is a bigger file it's going to take a little bit of time and with my registration template it is a little bit out of my registration template size however we can print something that is the size on our automatic press we just generally have it set to default 12 by 14 that's a pretty common size 12 by 14 12 by 15 but this is a little bit bigger i'm going to lock my art layer i'm going to unlock my center marks and my registration marks here and i'm going to hold shift and press up until it is out of the way same thing down here now it's out of the way i'm just going to lock those that way they cannot be moved and I'm going to unlock my art layer and we are good to go so now if I hit command P for print or if you want the file and print we are ready to go aside from the fact that we do need to turn off the cyan magenta and yellow the CMYK because separation studio does save it out as a um, it, it includes the, those channels in there now if, if I were to go over to separation studio take this PSD and go one step further so that way I don't have to worry all about all that I could just delete the the RGB channels here and I'll do that for demonstration sake we need to save this as a DCS2 so this will save it as an EPS so now if we place that EPS down we're gonna we're not going to have any of those issues with the the CMYK so we're going to center this thing up real quick and then the, the same thing with our center marks and our registration marks and all that we're just going to move this up so that way they'll actually print onto our film and we can use these to register up our art now if i go over to command p or file and print you'll notice i see myk is now gone so there you go. I hope this tutorial was very helpful. There was a lot of you that was requesting this tutorial. Check out our links below for our templates and all that great stuff. And again, I appreciate everybody tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.